Good morning, this is Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your Morning Ag Outlook for Tuesday, April 23rd. Uh, well, mostly higher trade overnight uh, was once again set at around strength in the wheat market. As we get closer to the morning pause, however, prices are starting to drift back here a little bit. Uh, corn right now is steady to a penny lower, near session lows. Uh, soybean prices, soybean complex is lower across the board, beans one to two lower. Meal prices steady to about a buck lower with uh, bean oil down 10 to 15 points. Wheat is still holding in there higher uh, across uh, all three classes here. Currently, um, Chicago's up two to three cents, uh, up to about five to six in Minneapolis and in Kansas City. Speculative buyers yesterday were net buyers across the agricultural space, cutting into their mammoth short positions here a little bit. Uh, there were net buyers of roughly 5,000 contracts of corn, 5,000 soybeans, 8,000 contracts in the wheat, while being light buyers in uh, both uh, soybean products as well. Uh, and with the exception of soybean meal, open interest was uh, lower uh, across the board as uh, largely as a result of the liquidation of the May contract ahead of first notice day. Uh, yesterday's export inspections were largely in line with expectations with the exception of corn, uh, where at 64 million bushels was above expectations at a new marketing year high. Uh, the biggest news from yesterday afternoon's crop progress and condition report was the much larger than expected drop in winter wheat ratings and the stimulus, I think, for the higher trade here overnight. Conditions did fall 5% to 50% good to excellent, uh, a much larger drop than the 1% that was expected and the 3 percentage uh, point drop that we had anticipated. Uh, despite the drop, however, conditions remain uh, much better than a year ago where only 26% of the crop was good to excellent. Uh, overall conditions still remain the highest since uh, 2020. 17% of the winter wheat crop is headed just above the historical averages. Uh, made some good uh, progress in uh, the spring wheat plantings as well, as well advancing to 15%, well ahead of the 4% from year ago and the five-year average of 10%. Uh, corn plantings at 12% and bean plantings at 8% uh, are both in line with year ago uh, pace but uh, ahead of the five-year averages. Uh, some light scattered showers, mostly across the central and eastern corn belts here for the next few days by late this week, uh, now stretching through early part of uh, uh, next week. Uh, heavy rains are expected to develop across much of the nation's midsection. Cun cumulative totals of two to three inches will be common uh, across much of the corn and soybean belt. This will certainly go to slow planting operations uh, in the last week of April, however, will help relieve drought conditions here heading into the growing season. Uh, lightest amounts expected to be in the far eastern Corn Belt in the southwestern plains uh, and in the western half of North Dakota. Uh, long range, uh, longer range outlook, however, is starting to trend a little bit drier as we get into the opening uh, opening week of May, something that would be much needed uh, to resume planting operations following uh, the anticipated rain later this week. So uh, higher start overnight did stall out a little bit here as prices have uh, long prices to drop back. Uh, we still have a big discrepancy between the USDA and most private estimates on South American production, particularly for corn. Should start to see some better harvest opportunities in Argentina this week. Uh, Brazilian soybean harvest is right around 90% with the beginning of the second crop corn harvest uh, about a month away when we'll really start to be able to hopefully uh, uh, zero in on the uh, size of their crops on there. So thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.